It was a little weird shooting in the place where I grew up and where my family lives. That was great in a lot of ways and really produced a lot of anxiety in a lot of ways. You know, etiquette is very important down there. So it's like, well, we need 30 extras. Well, Phil, if you invite so-and-so to be an extra, you kind of have to invite so-and-so to be an extra. And I want to say, look, I'm not doing them any favors. My name is Phil Morrison, and I directed uh, the movie Junebug. Junebug is about the favorite son of a family in North Carolina who's been away for a really long time. He returns with his new wife, who is a dealer in outsider art, self-taught painters. And he returns home with her because it so happens that a, a painter that she's really interested in signing, a crazy ass painter, lives very near her new husband's family. So it's about the weekend that they all spend together in this house. <laughs> More than being about the feelings I have about the place where I grew up, for me, it's more about the attitudes and perceptions that grow in you after you leave. That, at least that's my entrance into it. You start to create an identity for yourself based on the place that you have left, that you never really felt when you really lived there, you know? And um, so, in a way, that that for me is what I'm kind of trying to sort of figure out through the through the movie. A short that I made in college, that short was in Sundance in 92. It's called Tater Tomato. It seemed to me like a crazy whirlwind of like stuff going all kinds of action all the time. But then people laugh at me when I say that because they say that it's like, oh wait till you see it this time. 